the belt level we have talking about, but we are going because it is the most important to be repeated again and again. The white belt are individuals, are not involved in Six Sigma project, but work in a company that runs the Six Sigma process. They understand the structure and goal of the Lean Six Sigma. They use basic Lean Six Sigma vocabulary terms. All of you now are white belt certified. You know already what is the vocabulary, what is the structure and the goal of the Lean Six Sigma. They can report the process of the issue to the green and black belt. The yellow belt, those individuals who are subject matter expert that they know they are expert about the processes that we are working on and they are hired as a part-time in the team uh, of the, of the uh, Lean Six Sigma or Six Sigma project because of their expertise as a subject matter expert. These members are generally not involved with the project directly, but because of their experience, we depend on them totally because the green belt and the black belt doesn't know in depth what is going on on the area that we are working on. So the yellow belt understanding basic Lean Six Sigma, report process issue to the green and the black belt because they are not aware of the processes and that they are working on in details, but the yellow belt is a subject matter expert. They participate on the project team and receive just in time training by while they are sharing they will know what is critical to quality, how to change the voice of the customer into performance requirement, measurable and actionable. So while they are part of the team, they will know how to use even quality function, this mathematical way, the house of quality, they will know how to calculate it. The green belt is an employee who take beside his regular work a Six Sigma uh, role, beside, along with his other job responsibility. So the green belt is the one employee who take on a Six Sigma implementation along with his regular job responsibility. He operating under the umbrella of the black belt. He start and manage Lean Six Sigma. He knows the processes, how to fill up and to use any tool of Six Sigma. He has a Lean, a lean Six Sigma expertise, but in less than the black belt, he provide just in time training to the yellow and white. What about the black belt? Black belt can report to the master black belt who has been chosen at organization wide to uh, overview the project at the organization. The black belt is the head of one project. The master black belt at the organization level can coach uh, more than one project at the organization level. The black belt has advanced lean six sigma expertise. He functions as a coach and mentor and teacher for the project lead and the project leader for the project team. So he giving he is coach, mentor, the green and yellow in the project. A master black belt. He work with the leaders of the organization to identify the, what is the projects to work on the organization. He coach, mentor the leaders of the project, the black belt 
leaders and responsible for the Lean Six Sigma implementation and culture change. We will repeat it again and again. Don't bother. Champion is the executive leader who drives the initiative. He helped to select the project and remove the barriers from the road of the project team. He supported the change and developed a Lean Six Sigma culture in his organization. Again, the Lean Six Sigma team. The entry level is a white belt. The yellow belt he is a subject matter expertise. The green belt is the one who knows how to apply the tools fully. He can, uh, the green belt can be a leader for small project, but for big project is the black belt and the master black belt will be at the organization level. Champion is administrator from the organization, having only knowledge, same like the white level of the Six Sigma, and he is administrator with all the expertise of leadership, and he can put the resources to be sponsor for the quality improvement project. So the team members with belt are obtained through the organization for expertise and guidance. Some team members has no belt, which are stakeholder, the executive, the director of departments and the champion. They provide the strategic alignment of the organization. How you can rank the team members, belts used to define each role and the contribution of each member in the Six Sigma team. Again, the white belt. It is introductory level of knowledge of Six Sigma. He work in problem solving teams. The yellow belt. It is participate in the project team member He reviews the process because he is a subject matter expertise. The green belt, the green belt assists with data collection analysis for the black belt project because he is the one who knows how to use the tools of the Six Sigma black belt. He is the leader of the problem solving project. He is coaching and the training of the team members. Master Black Belt. He trains and coach the Black Belt and he is the expertise that a source for the knowledge if anyone faces some problem. Again, champion. He guides the team through organizational support, resources, and remove roadblocks. Master Black Belt. He trained the Black Belt and the Green Belt, uh, the managers for the projects, either big Black Belt or uh, manageable size by the Green Belt, and put the strategic direction of the Six Sigma project in the organization. The Black Belt, he leads the problem solving team. He is the team leader. Then the Green Belt, assist in data collection, assist in data analysis for the Black Belt because he is the process owner that can, not the process owner, he has the tools to work on the data to specify what is the action to be done, what are the root causes. He is the uh, real work inside the project. Yellow belt. He review over all the activities, participate as a project team member because he is subject matter expert 
in the area we are going to work on. The role of each one, the executive manager is the sponsor of the project, black belt provide the guidance, green belt operational work, yellow belt identify the process that need improvement because he is the expert in that area. The project team totally execute the actual work. The yellow or subject matter expert provide the guidance. 